Hello, and good morning. So, a little bit of um, a puzzling thing here. Uh, because uh, th this is something that, I don't know, that, that never really made much sense to me, and I think it's just more of an artistic choice thing. But okay, so reading the description, it's so like, okay, it's one of the richest places on the islands. It's built on top of a, well, it says on, a uh, rocky outcropping in the middle of the zode, giving a natural protection from invaders. Okay, fine. Looking at the castle, it just seems like a castle that's sort of built on a hill. Looking at this picture, though, the thing looks like a giant stone mushroom with, like, three... two? Possibly three? It's kind of unclear if there's a third road coming from the other end. Three, like, bridges leading to it, and I assume, like, stairs or something going around this little section? Um, I'm not really understanding what's really going on in this artwork, because you can see the spires up here. By the way, sorry for the, the thing, like, jumping around. It automatically wants to go to the next thing. But, like, you can see these different sections of, of the castle in the background here. They're kind of going for that whole kind of gothic look for it for some reason. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. It, I somehow get the feeling that the artist that did these background things was not exactly on the same page as the writers. But uh, th this is the one that always stuck out to me the most, of like, how exactly did we even get here then? Because, okay, if this thing has a crap ton of, like, little bridges and whatever else going through it, because they mentioned that they get supply caravans, so they're gonna need wagons coming through, which is usually why they had those double-wide roads, and you'd see, you know, roads with different things built into them, like stairs on one side and ramps in the middle and that sort of thing. Um, but generally speaking, all castles were built in a way that they allowed, you know, trade and whatever to come in, and then if there was a fight, it could easily be cut off. So, in, I don't know. In this case, it seems a little funny uh, as to how they're handling it, unless... It, okay, what I, what I was saying, if they had bigger roads going through the bottom of this... It seems like there would be a problem and a worry of it of, of this part eventually just eroding or collapsing, or somebody just kind of coming by and like, well, let's go ahead and just break this a little bit right here. Go uh, take down their entire castle without losing anyone. But no, I don't know. It seemed um seemed odd. If you happen to know, let me know. It just always seems strange to me. Alright, so this one, these guys are out. As are... Maybe I do want to keep the archers around. This one is strictly anti-armor. Every um, every fight on this map in particular winds up being anti-armor. So I think... Uh, do I want to get take out my crossbows? We'll see. Um, yeah, we'll do this sort of thing, I think. Just get most of the named units for each one. Again, there isn't really a big benefit to using named units as opposed to non-named ones. Uh, just kind of doing it for the hell of it. Although, why do these guys have such a big health discrepancy? I think Divold just might be using all those zombie abilities. Um, alright. <clears throat> Actually, you know what? Let's take her out of here entirely. Actually, maybe even take him out. Well, no. Mm, gonna need one as a buff unit. Now these archers are gonna suck against armor anyway, and they... Yeah. We're gonna go crossbows, I think. They're a little bit better against armor. Not great, but better. And then, yeah, we'll, uh... We'll get the, uh... The heavy axe guys in here. Okay, so we got that. And then lastly, we're gonna have his, um, his bodyguards. Sounds about right. Does it? Yeah, that'll do. There, I did a thinking. It took all my brain cell. Yeah, it's a Zybos. Hello, Zybos. <clears throat> so base game, this fight is kind of easy. Uh, because they end up sending all these guys up and they can't do much. Uh, so the Dragoons don't do much, the, the Terranites didn't used to not do much, and then 
their plan is that you would follow them across the bridge and just get shot and cast at a bunch. But they'll be more than glad to send people over without any problems. That's why I usually end up bringing crossbows here. So, you move here. I'm gonna hopefully count on them taking a while to arrive. Not waste any um, charges or anything. Okay, so we're going to have a second line for the heavy hitters. And we're going to have a main line for the uh, defensive units. Which I'm counting Hair Knights as defensive units in this instance. We're going to have the uh, defensers kind of holding up the rear here. Um, yeah, there we go. A Fulkert up front. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I removed one of my crossbows. Well, good job, Dingus. And yeah, he makes a good point. It's like, hey, he, he completely screwed you over. Uh, what, what you doing? Also, another funny thing on artwork, by the way. If you look at uh, Zabos' portrait... He somehow has a chink in his armor, like on. I can I can't really show it, but if you look on the left, like kind of close to where that little um, that little shirt collar type thing s starts up, there's like a little cut in there somehow. It's like, did, did he just get that as a hand me down, and the last guy uh, got a little bit decapitated, or what? And yeah, you always do what you want to do. Or you always do uh, what seems best at the time. And right there. They actually go back and explain it again. Like, yeah, if you are overwhelmed, you're really better off just siding with your enemy than you are going and trying to go, f you know, lose separately. And, yeah, this guy just basically goes and says, yeah, then you're not really making choices. But, I don't know. If you ask me, that's more of a choice. It's like not making a choice would just be continuing the course under all circumstances. Which some people consider honorable, but... Meh. Alright. Let's get you down here. So, if the archers present themselves, I want her to be able to go and start plinking at them. Because she'll be able to do a good bit of, uh, good bit of damage to them. And also, we'll be able to, uh... Actually, you know what, let's... Yeah, you're fine as you are. These two, however, will go along the sides. You know, um... <clears throat> kind of the plan there is to hopefully drain their healers over time. Prevent them from healing the front line if they're going off and healing off, uh... Healing off their other units. <clears throat> right, Denim shouldn't even be needed for this one. Uh, Fulkert is probably going to run up, take one hit, and then just proceed to go block off the sides. I want the uh, once the two sides are blocked and they can't get back up, then we can really, really do some nonsense. Now Merton spreading around some stun too. There's options. <clears throat> Why don't you go run up and get yourself hit? Then he's going to retreat. The other's going to stand there and kind of have a good day. And have the fencers run along the sides at some point. Good job. That was useful. <coughs> I think right there should be alright. Yep. Plink. Got plunked. Good job, Archer. Good job. <clears throat> yeah, ball dress for the incessant throat clearing. It's not supposed to be that way, but... Dry weather and so on. Seems like no amount of water is enough to work. Yeah, there we go. She's maxed out. So any kind of arrow shots they take can just be healed away. Right. 
You guys are taking forever. Come on now. Yep, yep, yep. Come on now. You know you want to come over here. Turn that on next round. It was like instead of coming down, they're actually trying to be a little bit annoying about this. Good job. Okay. That simplifies things. stuff. Go ahead and smack her about a bit. And block that one off. Now, while this may seem like a funny choice, <clears throat> this also means you can basically separate, uh, if anything happens, you can separate their, uh, like, main attackers uh, from all the stuff they're trying to defend back there. Because these guys have a tendency to get knocked off the edges a lot, just due to the general setup of the map. I mean, it's a little bridge thing. But yeah, if they don't wind up dead, they wind up on the ground. And since they won't ever actually bother to uh, take away those things unless they came with squash, which is unlikely, uh, they will uh, essentially be stuck on the bottom. But if you can get them stuck in the bottom, well, that's basically that then. They have to go all the way over here. And that's basically what Denim's sitting there waiting for. At some point, he might become useful like that. Uh, but now Murden is going to go stun all these folks. <coughs> I was hoping for them to come over, but hey, if they're not coming over, they're not coming over. Such is life. I mean, we had all this cake and everything, but fine, we'll go and package it up, have it another day. It's freaking rude, but whatever. Had everything all ready. But now, since Zabos is a tanky friggin' beast, um... The plan is really just to get get um, get to the archer first, or not the archer, but uh, the monk first. Once they're gone, that basically causes all their stuff here to fall apart. Hmm. I wonder if Speedstar was originally supposed to be Speedster. Also, wow. That is friggin' dodge rate, though. Might not be a fantastic idea to have Denim's bodyguards off to the sides here, but I figure at least one of them can get back to him if by some bizarre logic they're able to reach him. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Keep his buffs going. It's kind of turning into a little bit of a crop show if 
Just keep going in turns like this. That's alright. I have two Fearful Impacts coming up. I have a bunch of heals coming up. It's gonna be a good time. Berserk won't help much. We got a little bit of damage all over the place. Hmm. There's a chance to potentially stick some damage to Zabos, though. See how much you can do. Quite a significant amount, actually. Here's what you're doing. You're healing up this guy, I think. No, I kind of want the healer to take care of that. Alright, no. You're moving down here to help with this situation and healing him. As much as I want um, Zabos to be trapped down there, he probably would end up winning that fight. there, I guess. Could be going a bit better. I don't say that much. Probably should have stuck to the original plan, but hey. Actually, remembering what I was trying to do is for dumb. <laughs> Not dumb, it's for dumb. Okay. Do that. already got Consecrate on. What we really need is just break to break through this uh, line here. This guy provided us with a bit of an opportunity to do so. He separated himself from the rest of his party. Um, yeah, you can go over here and start just casting away. Cast away. Right, that should hopefully take healing priority. I guess I kind of set myself up for that one, huh? Okay. Yeah. Mm. This is good, though. This is a good fight. Bye, Wolfston. be making better use of phalanxes here. Alright. Yeah, let's do that. That should keep this whole area under a bit of a line and then probably back off for a little bit. <clears throat> now he just trapped those guys. Let's at least get Wolfston out of here.
He tried. He sucked, but he tried. But dang it, I'm not giving up on the old Cudgel Knight. He'll do it. He'll be the ultimate bestness with a stick. Oh, that's why they're doing so well. Yeah, it is that guy. Freaking soldier bird. Now that I think about it, Lloyd would have been amazing here, wouldn't he? Alright, can you break him, please? Thank you. Because he's probably going down as well. He has no place to retreat. Very good chance of these secondaries going away. <clears throat> Do that. There we go. Now if we can... Once we draw Zabos to the other side of the map, he can be beaten. So current plan, kill off birds. Draw Zabos. Right, that's almost enough for a kill. Get you out of there. You probably have you as a wall holder. Good. Wounded and stumbling as it ought to be. Okay, end him. End him rightly. This has had this has nothing to do with that meme whatsoever. Other than the blunt object hitting somebody part. Yeah, so I was seeing an interesting theory recently. As far as that whole manual, you know, kind of the running theory up to this point was that it was a joke. Um, the whole unscrewing a pommel and throwing it at somebody thing. But, um, apparently, there's a thought now that it may have actually been a way to get around some rules that they had at the time. In terms of, they could have only so many weapons with them, only so many of them could be used in so many ways. That kind of thing. And apparently... Um, that could have been a way to potentially get around some of those rules. So, like, for example, if you were given a spear and basically the rule was, well, you know, you can... You can't throw this spear. You know, you can't do this or that. And the rule only said, you know, you can't throw the spear. But you can use your other weapons as you will, and then, you know, you can't throw a spear, can't throw a sword. Like, well, you can throw the pommel of it, right? Kind of thing. So, I don't know. I hope that theory's true. It seemed, uh, seemed fun. Like, man, all that, uh, all that talk of chivalric code and whatever else, and yeah, you know, people are people. That's, whether you consider Europe or Asia, it was the same old thing of, just people are people. <laughs> Everyone's trying to get around whatever rules are holding them back, so. <laughs> you know, alright, well, Bible Tear, and your amazing damage. But yeah, Zabos has more or less trapped himself, though. And it would be ideal. Where's their other healer? Up there. So... You know what? Here's what we're gonna do. Drop it over there. Give them an even harder time coming down. So I think I'm gonna switch Fulcrum over to like full-time stall tactics over there. Everybody else needs to pile on Zabos. Since I've done the exact opposite of what I was gonna do. Please crit kill. Nice. Okay. Back off. I have a feeling, um, I have a feeling the uh, way to get around uh, Zabos here will be Ruination. I gotta say, these Lizard Berserkers are holding up so much better than I would have expected. Oh 
Oh, please smack him good. Or don't. Alright, you just heal yourself for the moment. <laughs> yeah, once Birdie Soldier's gone, then they should drop back down to normal stats. Man, Vigorous Attack is awesome now. Like, I, I always forget about it, because it was such a throwaway in base game, and you'd think after a you know, it was like the third, fourth run, something like that, that um, I don't actually remember it at this point. But, uh... Yeah, no, it's it's really good. It is the strong... Don't hit my own guys. Yeah, that was a good shot. Hey, that's the thing. Even when there's a very high chance to hit Felicia, they don't actually hit Felicia. It can't be hit. That's just the rules. Mm. <laughs> There's not much you can do for damage, huh? Hopefully next turn she can actually run and revive someone. I kind of want to use Relay. Perfect. That. Stall them even harder. And hopefully... Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully... She can get to him before he falls. And, well, rip that phalanx, I guess. Oh, dang it. Okay, one health. Come on, Felicia. Come on. You know you want to be a hero right now. Guy, the folk out of there. Dang it. It was almost her turn. Okay, well, stall tactics have stalled out. I may want to go relay him. Good. Okay, for the next couple rounds, he's stuck. Alicia remains utterly invincible. So, she's gonna hold him in place. Uh, his healers can get close now, though. Hmm. Come on. You need to stop doing that. Because that was a pretty prime opportunity right there. Yeah, well now, Rakes. They, uh... Dunn never shuts anyone down, huh? <laughs> I kid, I kid. He basically just said that it, um... Wasn't ideal for, uh, for shutdowns. Which is true. Alright, let's see how this works. Oh, they have to be in the same range. Um... Wait a second, does this work on more than one? What? Oh my god, that is really good. That is really friggin' good! Holy crap! That got everybody up, but it only showed two tiles and it got everybody up. Well then. G1 got everyone up, huh? Um... Hang on. That can't be right. Uh, da da da. Where is the thingy?
Okay, hang on, I had to go type in a report to Rakes real quick there. Because that got really awesome really fast. Okay, you just... Wait, you have drain health? Yeah, but you can't use it. Hopefully he'll survive somehow. I don't see that happening, but it's... You know, whatever. Better than it was before. Um... Okay. Just pew this guy, because if he gets his buff off again, we're kind of screwed here. And she's just going to back off. Alright. You finish him, hopefully? Not quite. Uh, Rushing Gale wouldn't do it either. Dang it. Annoying bastard, just barely on the cusp of being knocked out. Oh well, anyone I can pull back gets pulled back. Let me have Fulkert back. Like so. Then you can run delay tactics this entire time. Okay, what about you? Keep healing this guy back up. Mm. Give him a heal. Alright, hopefully he'll stay within healer range one more round. I really need him getting another Phalanx up there. Ideally running up uh, past, uh, past the stairs, dropping a Phalanx to uh, just basically let him go after the squishies by himself. Hmm. And if I had... If I had better items on him... Hmm. Done, please. Uh, could be worse. Right. They all came back, and then they died again. And stunned. I think it might be about time to make this into a part two. Alright. Mm. I know Coker here is about to eat it, but that's a bit more important of a, of a thing to pay attention to. Because I'd like to uh, keep that little armor wall idea going. <laughs> <laughs> 103 or 54? Yeah, no, 103 for sure. Destructions! This is what's fantastic about this mod right here. Just running distractions and whatever else, it's good stuff. I think I might have to use this early. 132. Yeah. Do this, and then just have him charging again, because it wouldn't be enough for a kill anyway. Okay, form up the line. Thankfully there aren't as many AoEs, except for, um, for wizards and stuff, so... It's good. There aren't any mass stuns coming in. Oh, crap. So I found out recently, apparently there's a, um, a thing in there that allows for potentially infinite, like, spear stuff. You can have, like, a 10-range spear or whatever. 
And as I understand it, the, uh, the reason that wasn't experimented with is uh, if you... Or at least wasn't implemented in any sort of way. Apparently if... <laughs> if you went and did something like that, you would wind up with a, um... With a situation where you are just sitting there waiting for it to eventually calculate what damage they took forever. So it's just sitting there like, oh, they took 50. Mm, they took like 10. Mm, they took 100. As I understand, that's the way it would be going anyway. It would be funny to see. Okay, so he needs to go take out the wizard first. I don't know if everyone else can last for this plan to work, but he would have to go take out the wizard first. He'd have to go take out the healers after that. And then at that point, they'd really have no coming back. Okay, so let's get Voltaire back up. Hopefully he can smack down those ones on the left while the healers are distracted. Uh, hopefully he can have the other bodyguard come over and revive these guys again. Since that apparently just revives everyone or something. It's a little unclear. I think that's a bug. There's no way that that's supposed to do that. It's supposed to be a single target revive. Not like a, I just sacrifice myself for everybody to live kind of a situation. Um, kind of damage. Crap, I didn't mean to hit the button. Okay, well, I mean, he'll, he should be okay. And I put him sideways because I want him to get knocked into the hole and hopefully for Zabos to go somewhere else. Okay. Between the two of them, this guy seems more like... Ooh, actually, why why choose when I can hit both of them? Choices are for dumb. Holy crap, the double stun. Okay. Okay. Actually, that works out really well because I need him to use relay. Here. He's about to go down anyway. That's what she said. Oh, wait. Um... Right now. Original plan, and you just heal yourself. Nice. That's still fine, actually. Good, and then he's one round away from using it. Now, hopefully if I'm understanding this glitch right, and I don't know if this counts as bug abuse, but I don't really have any confirmation on whether or not it's supposed to actually work this way. Um, <laughs> there we go, you can't run away now. Got nowhere to run, Wizardlington. Should have moved him one spot back. Then he'd be actually trapped. Or not trapped at all. That works too. Okay. That's out of range, right? Has to be. Yeah, just barely. Um. Alright. I'm actually amazed he didn't go for denim. You'd think those pants were appealing, but no. Thank you. Okay, you go help your guy. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, he double, uh, double crit insta-killed both of them. Both their uh, casters. Beautiful. You can run down and hopefully help out Voltaire a little. Give him... No, he's actually not stunned anymore. Alright, give him that. At least a little bit of a heal until further notice. Okay, and that guy should be dead next round. 
provided he lasts that long. Uh, Voltaire, I mean. And attempted to just... Yeah, that does hit all of them. Alright, do it. Doesn't seem like range is a consideration. Deleted! Right, well that sucks, but... I mean... I guess he wasn't exactly doing so hot before- Oh, dang it, I should've done that for Fulkert. Oh well. You know what, the healers are exposed now, Denim is not being answered, so... Problem solved, hopefully. Actually, he might have a Ruinade on him, in which case one of them can be shut down immediately. And yeah, they just pretty much immediately took out everyone I brought back, but... Hey, delay tactics and stuff, you know? Okay. Now, some of these need to live. Specifically, if Murden can last, that'd be dandy. Because he can take over for Fulkert. You plug up that gap. How is Coker still here? <laughs> Keep him on life support. Should you steal some stuff? Worth a try. <clears throat> I could pretend that there was some secret AI manipulation trick that I was trying to go nab something for, but no, I just wanted to try and nab something. <laughs> Okay, you need to back off until you can heal, and or possibly draw their archer away. <clears throat> See if that works out. You need to get to ruinating. <clears throat> Man, the old dry throat thing is annoying. Arguably, I should have waited one more turn until it became an insta-kill, but... Here's hoping that won't be a thing. Okay. Over here, squish. <clears throat> this frickin' Troid. needs to get stunned. Yes. <clears throat> there we are. Do all that sort of dealing. Now he can't respond. <clears throat> Dang it. That annoying throat, though. And then Murden can go up. Uh, Denim can delay them for a while. Good job. <clears throat> Good job right there. Ah, that is a dick move, though. Okay. You need to be getting back up, and I'm kind of regretting not giving her those leaves earlier now. In fact, why don't you get closer to Sestina so she can pop some of those in you? I like to think they're just, like, going over there and just cramming some leaves down their mouth while they're going doing something else. <clears throat> please. Noken has crit. Okay. That's bad. Fantastic. All they have to do is delay a couple more rounds. Uh, Murden, I'm not so sure how he'll do. There's a very good chance that the Archer and, um... and Zabos will pile on him. Crap. 
Alright, I guess... I mean, she kind of used up all her miracle dodges, huh? You dickhole. The thing, I just need one of them gone. Whatever. You know what? Merton is back in business. You guys go take care of that mess. Uh, everyone else will just kind of rally around Felicia here, I guess. I'm definitely getting him crit gauntlets later, by the way. Because, wow. Those mass crits are amazing. Okay, this one needs to go... That annoying Terranite that keeps somehow barely surviving. And keeps repeatedly hitting 40%. If we drop a Phalanx here, he might end up... Hmm. Drop it right here. Arguably, I should probably... Oh, wait. I didn't actually use his turn. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Just want to use a regular heal on her, and yeah. <laughs> hey, it's Hammond. He actually uh, made it over from uh, KOL. He's serving on the Galgastani now. I never even noticed that. But if you don't know who that is, um, I'm I'm fairly certain that's the exact same spelling too. It, so that would be the uh, uh, the priest from uh, Celia. Uh, from uh, Night of Lotus. Basically the abusive uh, priest a-hole. Uh, yeah, so a uh, little, uh, little child abuser over there is being their friggin' priest. I suppose, uh, well, I guess they're not exactly a child anymore, but whatever. They're abusive to their adoptive peoples. Uh... Opportunities. Not. Probably should have spread out damage there, but didn't. Right, I think I might end up having to cut it here, unfortunately. Mm. Hopefully not, hopefully not, hopefully not. Alright, can't do area heal, that would have been very useful. Alright, charge yourself. Hmm. Funny part is, you can't go anywhere. turns now. Goody. Alright. Those archers gotta go. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. You kinda hit that tree at some pretty high speeds. Uh, I mean, honestly, you came back from the dead, so 
That's fine. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of put together with parts, so that was bound to happen eventually. Alright. <clears throat> but yeah, it's uh, definitely looking like I'm probably going to have to go pretty soon here. Mm, just a minute. There's some stirring going on in the periphery. Alright, let's give you an instill just for the hell of it. Should be nice to recruit one of these guys, but that's probably not gonna happen. And yeah, um, I'm gonna have to cut it here. Ooh, dragoon marks finally. Um, yes, no, okay, never mind. Stirring has momentarily subsided. It's like ten minutes early, so I don't know what that's all about. Oh no, wait, nope, they're starting again. Okay, gotta go.